King's Indian Defense, Fianchetto, Benjamin Defense. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. White really outplayed Black in that one. White played the opening well, but Black was on another level. White overpowered Black in the middle game. The English is a more patient opening where White plays c4 to control the d5 square without committing a central pawn. g6 prepares to Fianchetto the dark squared bishop on g7, where it will attack the center from the long diagonal. And c3 develops the knight and controls the d5 and e4 squares. Bg7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a Fianchetto. d4 takes space in the center and controls the e5 and c5 squares. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center, supports the d4 pawn and controls the e5 square. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. This prepares the bishop for development. Bg2 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. It is the last book move. This is a fair move. It is good. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is best. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to move a piece to safety. It is an inaccuracy. This strikes at the center with a pawn, fighting for space. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The pawn is now adequately defended. It is best. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is best. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks an opportunity to block an attack on a vulnerable pawn. It is a mistake. This misses a great but hard to find move. It is a miss. That was a great move and very hard to find. It is brilliant. This captures a vulnerable rook. It is best. Takes back. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Very precise. It is best. That's fine. It is good. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is best. That's an unfortunate error. It is a mistake. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This loses a knight. It is a blunder. This wins a knight. This is the only move that works. This was a game changing move, giving white a winning position. It is a great move. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. This allows the opponent to take an outpost with a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This takes an outpost, an active square where the knight cannot be kicked out by a pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. A very strong play. It is excellent. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This reveals an attack on a pawn. It is best. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Right on target. It is best. This forks multiple pieces. It is excellent. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is best. Capturing that rook wins material. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This moves the knight to safety. It is good. One of the best moves. It is excellent. 
give away one player was winning, but then gave it away. White really outplayed Black in that one. White played the opening well, but Black was on another level. White overpowered Black in the middle game.